Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Tuesday, November 26, 2024. The U.S. Court of Appeals overturns the tornado cash sanctions. Flashbots launches BuilderNet. EigenLayer introduces EigenGov v1. And Wallet Connect launches its WCT governance token. All this and more starts right now. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit ruled in favor of Tornado Cash, concluding that OFAC exceeded its authority under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act when it sanctioned Tornado Cash smart contracts. The court determined that Tornado Cash's immutable smart contracts do not qualify as property under IEEPA because they cannot be owned, controlled, or altered by any party, including their creators. The decision overturns a prior ruling from August of 2023 when a U.S. District Court judge sided with OFAC in a Coinbase-backed lawsuit challenging the sanctions. The lawsuit was initially filed in September of 2022 by six individuals affected by the sanctions. Paul Grawal, chief legal officer at Coinbase, says that the sanctioned smart contracts should now be removed from the sanctions list, allowing U.S. persons to resume using the privacy protocol. Flashbots launched BuilderNet, a new decentralized block building network for Ethereum, aimed at addressing centralization challenges, improving censorship resistance, and distributing power more equitably within the ecosystem. Initially operated by Flashbots, Beaver Build, and Nethermind, BuilderNet uses Trusted Execution Environments, or TEEs, to process encrypted order flows securely and distribute MEV rewards among participants. Block Builders, the entities responsible for assembling transaction bundles into blocks and submitting them to validators, currently face centralization challenges. Flashbots reports that over 90% of Ethereum blocks are built by just two entities. The BuilderNet system enables multiple operators to collaborate on block building, ensuring secure sharing and processing of order flow. Contributors are also compensated with refunds based on the value they add to the blocks. EigenLayer introduced EigenGov v1, a governance framework designed to facilitate decision-making among Eigen token holders, developers, operators, and stakers. EigenGov derives a legitimacy from Eigen holders while delegating decision-making authority to councils. Eigen holders retain the power to veto council decisions. Instead of traditional delegation systems, token holders endorse council candidates based on expertise. EigenGov also employs a dual-track system, including a core track for stable, production-ready governance focused on security and robustness, and a vision track for experimenting with governance solutions in a controlled environment. And lastly, Wallet Connect launched its WCT governance token. Over 160,000 wallets are eligible to claim a share of 50 million WCT tokens split between 30 million for users and 20 million for contributors. The allocations were based on network usage, on-chain activity, and past airdrop behavior. While the tokens are initially non-transferable, users can decide to stake them for one week to two years with staking rewards beginning on December 19th. In other news, Uniswap launches a $15.5 million bug bounty program, OnChain Kit introduces a wallet modal, and Optimism announces retro funding changes. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to the newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.